Uh, I play a guy called David Percival, who is the station chief uh, in Berlin, um, just before the fall of the Berlin Wall, and he's been there for a few years. Um, and the world that we paint is one in which, or the, the sort of espionage spy world that we paint is one where uh, Berlin is a very different beast from anywhere else in the world. It's way more like the Wild West in terms of espionage. Um, a lot of the operatives have gone feral, or as the, their bosses say, they've gone local, they've gone native. Uh, and my guy is sort of the epitome of that. He's, um, he's sort of riddled with, with drug abuse, alcohol abuse, probably sexually transmitted diseases, and, um, and a love of the game that is espionage, uh, and a hate for it at the same time. So he's sort of self-consuming and self-aggrandizing at the same time. Fantastic. And do you mind telling me just what, what part of it would be what you just said, but what appealed to you about the story as a whole and the character in particular, if you repeat what you said? Uh, I, the thing that, probably the things that appealed to me the most in the script were its sexiness. It's unabashed um, aim to entertain. Uh, it's cool as you like. Uh, in fact, the director, when he offered me the script, sent me a, a lookbook, which was a sort of idea of his visual ideas for the film. And they were the sexiest, coolest things you'll ever, ever seen in your life. And he actually says in it, I want every single scene in this movie to look cool as and uh, I want every guy to want to be in it. I want every woman to want to be Charlize in it. I want, I want it to ooze with sex and and coolness. Um, and then I came along and I sort of, <laughs> I'm a bit of an antidote to all that because I'm I'm less sex and I'm more filth. But um, but it was fun to do. Was there any sort of interesting story behind your casting? Was it just a straightforward? Did they become hunting for you? Did Charlie's beg you to do it? <laughs> uh, I don't think I th Charlie sent me an email um, just saying she thought I was the greatest actor. She did not much of Yeah, she sent me an email, but uh, that was it. And uh, no, I just I read the script. I responded to it. Uh, I think they thought they were going to have to chase me because it wasn't the lead or anything. But I was just so into the part and and into the story um, and into the fun of it. It's a real fun. It's not a pole-faced espionage movie with people in anoraks, like looking around corners as the rain comes down with hats and, you know, a lot of talking. There is a lot of talking, but it's um, it's fun, the talking. And then the action is just out of this world. And you could tell from the page and telling who um, our director is and, and what he's done before, you knew there was going to be a, just a brutality, but an an ability to execute that brutality and actually know how to film that brutality in a way that you don't see all the time. I see so many movies that are filled with exceptional brutality and violence, which, you know, we seem to be obsessed with and I like watching it sometimes. Um, but I don't actually see any of it. I don't actually see the art of it. We build these pictures of these, like, you know, artful killers of people and you never get to really see any of it. And and he's, he is a master technician. It's showing you the machine of what is happening from, from second to second, from beat to beat, from punch to kick, to broken jaw to whatever. Uh, and it's utterly compelling. And, and I'm, you know, I say this guiltily, it's, it's a pleasure to watch. Obviously, Charlie gets to do a bit more kicking and fighting than you do, but from what you just said... Yeah, I get very little. But you do get some. Yeah. So can you tell me how what you just said actually works practically? Do, do you sit down and work out each yeah. movement beat by beat? Or yeah. do you train? Just, yeah. yeah, you you know, he's... Um, he, our director, he is very... You know, he's an ex-stuntman. He's also an ex-director um, of pretty much stunts. Being a second unit director, you, you're you in charge of all the stunts, you know? Uh, so he knows not only how to choreograph something, but he also knows where to put the cameras to best show the audience what he's choreographed. So yet yeah, we learn it. Um, there's no point really just turning up on the day and busking it because then the cameras have got to busk it as well. So if he knows what he's going to shoot, he doesn't. He can prepare where he wants to put the cameras, and then the audience get the best possible opportunity to actually enjoy and see and be connected to what's happening instead of just seeing a flurry of fists, you know. 
Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, you got some input. If, if a movie ain't working for you, you can go, can I try this instead or whatever? But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's very detailed, very choreographed, very, very thought out work. You said it's fun to watch. Is it fun to do? I mean, yeah. you know he's a dramatic actor, but everyone likes a bit of rough and tumble. Yeah, totally. We all do. Again, you know, I am. I had a ball on this movie because, as much as the the, the fighting was very, very choreographed, I, you know, they've let me sort of improvise a lot as well. Um, and and I love doing that, especially when you've got a character who's who's got a a, a burning desire to offend people. It's it's great. It's uh, it's an absolute joy to do. So doing the rough and tumble and doing the rough dialogue as well was just lovely. Now, can you tell me how impressed you were with Charlize as an action star, particularly? Because, like I said, we said earlier, some of those sequences went after you shoot Spyglass. I mean, that fight they have in the stairs is like, yeah. relentless. And I was flinching. Oh, it's unbelievable. That that fight is. I think it's the best fight I've ever watched. Um, and you can put it up against things like Crouching Tiger and Touching Cloth and um, uh, and all of that. And for me, it's a very different style. Uh, and it's a matter, I think it's a matter of taste, which you prefer. But for me, I prefer what Charlize did and what Dave did. Um, I think, uh, how do I feel about her as an action star? She's sacrificial um, and she sacrificed her body. She was like one of those centre backs that you want in the Premiership that put their when managers say they want people putting their bodies on the line. Uh, she's like that, you know. Um, she hurt herself for this movie. She she got uh, cracked ribs. I think she still requires some kind of dental surgery. Um, I think I might be making that up, but I think she is. Um, yeah, no, she was a real uh, warrior. Um, and you know she's fighting big guys, and of course, all right, you know nobody's looking to swing for each other or really hurt each other. We're trying to do it in a way where nobody gets hurt. But you know you can't get flung down those stairs the way that she did in that scene that you're talking about without it without it taking its toll. And by the way, we made this movie for not a lot of money, so you didn't have that kind of big budget um, schedule where you can afford to go. Do you know what I've? I've pulled something in my back, I need to take a day off. We were working six days a week and we were working crazy hours in minus 10 degrees in Budapest and then laterally in Berlin and she did not grumble. She was just there slogging away in the trenches. And I've worked with a few the big action people, do you know what I mean? And she's up there with the Hugh Jackmans and all of that.